Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bridal makeup tutorial. This is like a really quick and easy bridal tutorial. It's going to be very glowy and just very almost natural looking. Um, something that I guess a bride would want on a wedding day. If you're doing bridal makeup, you want to prep the skin first because that's one of the most important things to do because you're going to be setting all of your makeup on top of that base and you don't want like foundation to cling to any dry spots or anything like that so i recommend doing like a really good moisturizer and you can even do a little spritz of like a fix plus or whatever other spray you want also don't forget eye cream i use this one this is time delay anti-aging wrinkle reduce eye cream but this is by boots so you're in the uk you won't be able to get it here so the next thing you want to do is use a corrector if you have any dark spots or dark areas um, so I use this LA Gold one. I, I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes and then wherever else I find it a bit dark. So the next thing that I like to do, this is just a personal preference, you don't have to do this. Um, but I like to cover up my orange concealer. The reason being because like I feel like later on sometimes the orange shines through a little bit and I don't like that. So I'm just going to use some concealer. This is LA Gold Concealer. And I'm just going to go over with oranges. I'm gonna go in with this little palette. I just bought this randomly off eBay, I think. There's this highlight color over here. And what I like to do is I go under the eye with this color. You'll see like it's really reflective. Um, and I like to blend this in to give a nice glow to the skin. Because, um, you know, guys want to be glowy and flowy and dewy on the wedding day. I usually just pat this where I'd normally highlight. So just like that. And now once I've done all of this prep work, I usually do my eyebrows. So what I'm going to use to fill in my eyebrows is the Brow Definer by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And there's no specific way that I like to do my eyebrows. I usually just follow the natural shape. Um, and I just fill in the sparse areas. So now I'm just gonna prep my eyelids with this I Love Stage eyeshadow base. So now I'm going to be taking this nice big fluffy brush and from my Sleeks palette I'm gonna be using this orangey color over here as my transition shade. So we're just gonna apply that in the crease. Once that's blended in, you want to go in with another color. So I'm going to go in with Burnt Orange from my Modern Renaissance palette. Um, and I'm going to blend that into the orange shade that I blended in earlier. Now I'm going to go in with this sort of like... The best way I can describe this is like a vomit brown. Color. Um, I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna try to go just beneath my crease with this and blend it into my crease as well. Now I'm gonna pick up this brush over here and I'm gonna go in with my Cypress Umber, which is this dark chocolatey brown over here. Um, and this is quite pigmented, so you really want to tap tap off the excess. Um, and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go here and just pat it at the edge. So I'm going to pick up some more, pat it on the outer corner, and really hold up that color because we're going to. Um, blend it out in a bit. So the next thing 
I'm gonna do is going with this Essence All About Bronze Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know if this has a name. Oh, a one bronze. And they have this like really nice like bronze antique antique bronze gold brown shade of here. And I'm gonna be using that on a flat brush. So I'm just picking some of that up. And then I'm going to pack it on over here. And then also just a little bit over the brown. So you sort of want to keep it just below your crease so that it looks nice and neat. So now what I like to do is I, I take that same fluffy brush and then I dip it into the heat. But they all got that orange shade over there. And then I just blend out some more. But this time, I like to go a little bit over that line over there. So where the brown ends and the shimmer starts, I like to go over that just to make sure that it's nice and blended. So once everything is nice and blended, I just go back in with a little bit of that brown surplus umber and I just like lightly, lightly go at the outer edges of my eye. The reason I do my eye makeup before I do the rest of my face is just in case there's some fallout like over here, you can just wipe it away and then continue with the rest of your makeup. Whereas if you put on your concealer and your foundation and everything, it's a lot harder to remove things. Because my skin is this weird like in-between color of like a pale pasty yellow and a nice warm bronzy gold. Um, I have to use two foundations. So I like to use L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And I also use this the Bobbi Brown Long Even Wear Foundation in Golden 6. Um, I like this, especially for my skin because oh, here's my little palette. So now I'll take my concealer color and for my concealer, I like to use a little bit of this banana shade over here. This is in the Anastasia. Anastasia. Um, or contour kit. I like to just take some of that on a brush and then I'll just dot it like that and on the other side as well and I'll take my sponge and I'll just blend that out so now that I like my foundation and it's all blended and great i'm going to line my waterline this is essence extreme lasting eye pencil in 06 nude i think it is and i'm just gonna line my waterline just the bottom so now that everything is nicely blended and i have my eyeliner on and everything i'm gonna go back in with my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna go back in with the Cypress Umber. I'm just gonna pat that on the outer edges of my eye. Take a brush, I like this for underneath my eye. This is the Luxe Brow Light Brush from Zoeva. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up that orangey shade over here, a peachy shade, and like underneath my eyes. And now I'm going to take burnt orange from my Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm also going to go underneath my eyes. Make sure that it's nice and blended up. And then I'm going to take the Cypress Umber again um, and I'm just going to take a little bit on that same brush 
And this color I'm going to concentrate on the outer edge searches over here of my bottom lash line. And I have to pat it down. And then just blend it sort of over here into the top so that it's nice and blended. Do the same on the other side. So now I'm going to take my mascara and I'm going to be using Get Big Lashes by Essence. Um, I really really love this mascara, especially for my bottom lashes because it just makes them look extra long. And I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara. Okay, so that is it for mascara. I like putting on my lashes last. I don't know why, I just do it. So I'm gonna just put it on last. <laughs> wow, I'm very really competitive today. For to bronze up my face and to contour just a little bit, I'm gonna be using these two colors over here. This is from this random palette that I got off eBay. Um, it works just fine for me, so I'm gonna use it. Sort of like to do something like that, and then I'll take my Real Techniques Zero One brush, um, and I like to, and I'll just blend everything in with this brush. Next, I'll go onto the forehead, blend it, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So because I tend to get really shiny, um, I like to powder my skin a little bit. And I'm going to be using this MAC NC43 Studio Fix Powder. Um, and brush over here. I'm just going to pick some of that up. Not too much. And I'm going to go underneath my eye. Just pat it so that it takes away the shine. So I still want the glow. I just don't want that oily shine. And I just use a little bit of powder. You can always touch up throughout the evening or day. And then I like to go a little bit up here, down my nose, and then just some of all, all my smile lines need to be powdered. So a blush that I really like using on my diets is this Lipidism um, Givenchy blush. Looks like this. Smells like grandma. Um, and by grandma I mean like, you know those like red door and I don't know what other scents, but scents similar to red door, it smells kind of like that. So I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up and I really like this blush because it gives that like rosy glow from within sort of thing. Um, and I'm just going to blush my cheeks up just a tiny bit. Um, I'm going to be using my Sky Slip Liner. And I'm now outlining and filling my hole up. And then I'll be using my Essence Lip Liner in 07 Cute Pink. And now I'm just going over that. Today I'm going to be using the Tazzy B lashes in the style Tazzy B. So I have a lash line and there are three styles, Leo, Annie and Tazzy B. And Tazzy B is the most natural of them all. Um, yeah, so I just thought that I'd use these today. I'm just putting some glue on my lash. And while I wait for that to get a bit tacky, I think I'm going to highlight my face. So for highlight today, I thought of using my Anastasia Glow Kit, but I really enjoy my MAC Soft and Gentle for brides because I think it just gets like a really nice glow from within, not like an over the top glow, which is fabulous, but like I don't think most brides enjoy that. Um, so I'm just going to take this fan brush over here and highlight.
So this is basically the look done. As you can see, I have my lashes on already. If you want to purchase these lashes, I will put all the links down below. You can get them off of my Instagram and I do ship everywhere in South Africa. I don't know about international, but we can make a plan, girl. This is the final look. It's very glowy and dewy and very pretty. Not too much, not too over the top. Unless over the top is what you want to go for, then you go for it, girl. But this is what I like. And yeah, I hope you try this makeup look for yourself. Not only if you're going to be getting married or if you're in a wedding, but just because it's really pretty and it's really glowy and I really, really do like it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you soon. Bye!